Okay, welcome to our third video on Introduction to Illustrator. In this video, we're going to learn about several of the basic tools that you use when working with Illustrator. Right here, I've got uh, an artboard already up, and I've put a little uh, rec or a square on there with a black stroke and a red fill, just so we can use some of these tools upon it and see how they work. The first tool I'm going to talk about is the one that you will probably use the most of any tool in this entire program, and that is the Select tool. The select tool is this first one in the upper left of the toolbar. It's the black arrow. The keyboard shortcut for the select tool is V. Or if you're typing text, which we'll learn about in a later video, you actually would type the let escape key to get to the, the select tool. The reason being is if we tap V, then we're just going to type V since we're typing. But normally we type V to get to the select tool. And the select tool does several things. First of all, I can click on objects and I can move them using the select tool. So here I am just clicking and dragging it and moving it around. Now actually I should say first of all we can select objects. Right now nothing is selected. If I come and click on this, I've selected it. I can tell because I can now see these guides around it. And now if I were to make changes like to the stroke or the fill color, it would be affecting the selected item. So I can click to move as well. I can also resize things using the selection tool and the way I would resize this is I would put my mouse either in the corners or the top and bottom or the sides anywhere where I see these white squares around the object and then I would just click and drag now notice if I click and drag just freehand then I can really change the proportions of this rectangle or this, well, I can actually turn it into a rectangle. It's a square originally because I'm stretching it or I'm squishing it. And a lot of times when I'm resizing things, I don't want to do that. I want to maintain those that height to width proportion. So if I want to do that, when I'm clicking and dragging to, to resize, all I need to do is hold down the shift key on the keyboard. Holding the shift key kind of locks those proportions in. So it allows me to resize this all I want without ever losing the height to width ratio that it already has. Now, an important thing to remember when you're doing that, make sure you let go of the click first and the shift second, because if you let go of the shift first, it'll automatically lose those proportions uh, and you'll end up stretching or squishing it anyway. So, so far we've got selecting things, we've got moving things, and we've got resizing things. Another thing that this tool can do is it can rotate things. The way I would rotate an object is I just put my mouse in the upper right or the lower right, any of the corners, and you see that the cursor actually changes to look like a bent arrow with the head on either end of it. When it's like that, if I start clicking and dragging, I can rotate it. Now you can see that it gives me this blue outline to see where it's rotated to, and I can also see that the angle written as degrees in that little gray box there on the side. Now, sometimes I want my rotation to be exact, I want it to be not like an odd number, but exactly 45 degrees or exactly 90 degrees. Again, holding that shift key will help with that. So if I come here and hold shift while I'm rotating, you'll see that it locks those rotations to multiples of 45 degrees. So I can't actually rotate it in an odd number. It's either going to be a 45 degree or a 90 degree or so on and so forth. Okay. So again, that's while I'm holding shift. Now you'll notice that I'm with one keystroke getting back and undoing the things that I've done so far. That is the undo command. That's a very important thing to know. That's up under edit and we have undo right here. You'll notice though the keyboard shortcut, which is over here to the right. On a Mac, it is command Z. On a PC, it's actually control Z, but either way that will undo what you did uh, most recently and is very useful when working with things. So that is the select tool. The select tool, again, a very useful tool that you will be using a lot.